If you're in the market for one of the best M4 motherboards for your current gen AMD CPU, you're likely deciding between a B550 and X570 motherboard. B550 and X570 chipsets are the two most popular mainstream chipsets for AMD Ryzen 5000 series CP. The former is a mid-range chipset, and the latter a higher-end chipset. While there are different motherboard implementations of each of these, there are some differences between the chipsets themselves that might influence your purchasing decision. The main difference between the two chipsets is in how many PCIe lanes and ports they can offer, and what PCIe generation these are. In other words, how many expansion cards and storage drives you intend to use will be a big factor in deciding between B550 and X570 chipsets. What is a chipset? Every motherboard has a chipset, which is a physical chip sitting somewhere on it. Motherboards are what allow all your various components, CPU, RAM, graphics card, and so on, to communicate with one another. And the motherboard's chipset defines how it does this. Your chipset defines your motherboard's most essential capabilities, such as how many RAM sticks and video cards are supported, how fast this RAM can be, how many USB ports there can be and how fast they are, how many PCIe lanes are supported, and so on. When comparing two similar chipsets like the B550 and X570, many of these capabilities will be the same. But there will be some differences, perhaps one offers more high-speed USB ports and PCIe lanes, for example. Supported CPU, AMD B550 and X570 chipsets are part of its latest chipset generation, meaning they're designed for some of the best gaming CPU currently on the market. AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors. Both B550 and X570 chipsets are backwards compatible with AMD Ryzen 3000 series and 4000 series CPU because they support M4 socket CPU. So, if you have an AMD Ryzen 5 3600, for example, it should work with either chipset. X570 chipset motherboard should also work with AMD Ryzen 2000 series CPU, but B550 chipset motherboards will not. Both chipsets use the M4 socket, but AMD next generation of desktop processors, AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPU, will use the new M4. So, unfortunately, B550 and X570 chipset motherboards won't run next gen AMD C specs. Both B550 and X570 chipsets should offer enough for most PC gamers running a current or previous gen AMD. These specs are theoretical maximums and can be interpreted in different ways. For example, if you use all SATA ports the chipset can theoretically allow, then you'll have to sacrifice some PCIe lanes. There's a lot of mix and matching possible with the lanes in both chipsets but especially with the X570. In simpler terms, though, all B550 and X570 chipset motherboards should allow you to run one graphics card in a PCIe 4.0 x16 slot and one PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD in an This is all that most gamers will need from their chipset. They also both offer more than enough LA and bandwidth and a broad selection of USB 3.2 Gen 12, USB 3.2 Gen on, and USB 2.0 ports. Differences. Apart from the higher price tags on X570 motherboards, the main differences between the B550 and X570 chipsets concerns their lanes and ports. AMD X570 motherboards have four PCIe Gen 4 lanes running from the CPU to the chipset, whereas AMD B550 motherboards have four PCIe Gen 3 lanes running from the the chipset can connect other components indirectly to the CPU using these lanes. This means that X570 boards should have faster connectivity capabilities to other PCIe components via the chipset. Of note is that, because of the extra PCIe 4.0 lanes that the X570 provides, you should be able to run 2M, 2NVMe SSDs over PCIe 4.0, providing the specific mother AMD B550 chipset motherboards. On the other hand, will only allow for 1M, 2 NVMe SSD running over PCI. Similarly, according to AMD specification snapshots, X570 boards can have more SATA Roman 3 ports than B5. But note that, as explained above, for most gamers, both chipsets will offer enough SATA capability. Finally, the X570 chipset can offer more high-speed USB ports. Again, though this depends on the specific motherboard manufacturer's implementation. Performance. One of your main considerations when buying a motherboard should be how many VRM voltage regulation modules it has and how they perform. VRM step-down voltages from the power supply 
ensuring that all your components get supplied their electricity at voltages they can handle. A motherboard that has better voltage regulation should have components that are less likely to degrade over time or suffer damage from high voltages. It should also allow you overclock more safely, with less risk of overvolting damage. Unfortunately, which chipset is used won't tell you whether a motherboard's voltage regulation is good or bad. Chipsets don't define which YARM, or how many, are used. Instead, individual motherboard manufacturers implement their own VRM solutions. This means that one B550 motherboard model might have better voltage regulation than another X570 motherboard model, or vice versa. While the very best and most expensive X570 motherboards are likely to have better voltage regulation than midrange B550 or X570 boards, VRM performance should still be judged on a case-by-case -case basis. Should you buy a B550 or X570 motherboard? B550 and X570 specifications only describe the theoretical maximum capabilities that these chipsets can handle. To see what you'll get in practice, you should compare individual motherboard manufacturers' implementations. The main difference between AMD B550 and X570 chipsets is that the latter offers more higher speed ports and lanes. It should allow you to run more components and peripherals via PCIe 4.0. SATA Roman 3 and USB 3.2 Gen 2 zone connection. However, most gamers will only make use of the few PCIe 4.0 lanes the B550 also offers to your graphics card and to 1M, 2 and most gamers won't need a plethora of high-speed USB ports. Furthermore, both chipsets should be capable of offering the same level of CPU, GPU, RAM, and single SSD performance, and both support overclocking. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.